Hey guys, my name is Gregory Harrington and welcome to BFX Essentials. This is my very first tutorial and today we're going to talk about tool sets and how to create hotkeys for those tool sets. So let's go ahead and get started. In this script I have a few different examples of what I want to use as a tool set when I'm working on a project. Uh, you don't have to use these tool sets, but these are just some examples of what I like to create. And if you don't know what a tool set is, it's just a group of nodes that you can save and repaste into Nuke, just like any other default node inside of Nuke. I will show you how to do this, but first let me show you some examples and explain why I use these for tool sets. For my first example of a tool set, uh, it's a pretty simple setup. But the reason I want to create this is uh, when I'm creating a mask function, whenever I create a roto, the clip2 always says format. I basically just always want to set it to a no clip. So basically, uh, I'm going to have this backdrop, a roto, and a merge mask with it set to no clip. So to create this as a tool set, I'm going to select this entire thing, go to the wrench, click create, and then I'm going to type in mask setup. So if I go over here and I click tab and I type mask setup, it's going to create or pretty much just paste it in the exact same thing I had set up before. So this is my second example of the tool set. Again, it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, just the roto node with it set to no clip, a uh, merge operation with stencil. So I'm going to type in stencil setup, click create. And now I have my second tool set. Now this is uh, this is a pretty nice uh, setup right here. Um, ba basically, I'm creating a tracker, uh, just the default tracker, but I also create the match move and the stabilize. Uh, I have the match move set with motion blur on one and it at center. Uh, so, yeah, if if you create a match move on default, the motion blur is always set to zero. So because I'm creating a match move over here with the one and centered, it will basically help me remember to always keep it on the motion blur on, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and create this uh, tracking setup, same thing as before. Here's another setup I use. It's uh, a re regrain. Uh, basically, I use this with a F regrain. So basically this goes through the B pipe. Uh, it goes over to the right with the F regrain. Uh, the posted stamp is just where you read it in and it has a frame hold. Um, you then analyze with the F regrain and key mix it in. So you can mix it up or down by turning down the grain or turning it up. You then uh, put the alpha over where this mask is, or excuse me, merge and that will only grain the part you're patching in. So I'm going to create this uh, regrain setup. This is my spline warp setup. Uh, I'm planning on creating another tutorial in the future. Uh, basically it's two trackers. Uh, one track is going to track the top edge of something. The bottom track is going to track the bottom edge of another thing. Uh, basically, this, I'm going to use this uh, just in case if you're doing some advanced tracking and your 3D track fails and you're having a hard time with 2D tracks because there's no parallax. So basically what this will do is create, a, it's just a different match move uh, solution you can use. It'll basically help you get some parallax in your match move. So let's name this uh, Spline Warp setup. And again, I'll have a different tutorial on this later. This is my camera setup. Uh, this will also be a different tutorial I'll have uh, coming up later. Uh, basically, uh, when you track something 3D, uh, this is a good way to stabilize it. With the reference frame camera, basically you just delete all the keyframes in the camera except for that one frame and then you have your regular camera in the scan line renderer. 
uh, this work area, basically you don't want to stabilize your entire footage, so you would unhook this and just put your patch in here. And then with your match move, uh, basically you see these cameras, you just flip them. So your reference frame camera will go into your scan line and your uh, your camera saw will go into the project 3D. I'll have a different tutorial on this later, but I just want to show you this as a tool set which might help you. So let's create that camera setup. Now this is a huge template I created. Uh, I think it's pretty much right. I created it from just my memory from work. Uh, basically I have all these trackers and this is basically set up with uh, when you're doing the driving comp, you have like screen left rear window, rear center window. So we want all these trackers with match moves, have the motion blur on one and centered. Uh, we have the section where we have the background plate. And we just put these CC nodes on default, transform the focus. And then we go over here, and this, I, I like this setup, it's pretty nice. Uh, you have run roto, you just roto the, the window. You then use the tracker match move for that roto shape. And then uh, you basically have a key mix for each part with a blur on it. Uh, you could blur it maybe like 20, have a soft uh, roto for it. And then you, you have your key going into the key mix. Uh, th this is pretty important when you're doing uh, like a driving comp because you'll have different shades of green we're worried about the reflections and things like that so basically on the other side you can have this blur node go to like 200 and then you can have your despill here I like to use key lights but you can use like a hue correct or the some studios have a despill madness or something like that so that that would basically be key mix back in and it's also create uh, controlled by the same roto except with the heavier blur and it'll basically doing the same thing for each section uh, we have like screen right front window key uh, you know all your other window keys uh, the spill uh, controls each part of it uh, you can even put like a, another key light on the bottom and it could be like uh, your subtle, you know, your subtle despill. Do something like you can create this however you want. You don't have to use this setup. I just wanted to show it to you in case if it helps people. Over here, we just have like a garbage mask, you know, a, a roto blur stencil. Uh, just helps you have some control over the end. And then you put the, your holdout mat, mask right above it. Just fill in any holes that you want. Uh, plug in your alpha into the B channel. Have your basic edge blur. And these extra setups at the bottom are pretty nice. You just plug in some extra highlights and plus it over. And then we have our, our light wrap over here. Uh, you basically have your background come in from from the very top that you plus it over uh, it's just a default light wrap but what we want to click is generate wrap only that way we can plus it over with the merge function and so basically back to the tool set thing we're, we're going to copy this giant thing so it's a huge template and we're going to create this and put drive comp setup or template. So I'm going to create that and just to show you, I'm going to go over here, tab, driving comp template, and it'll create that giant setup. So now when you jump from shot to shot, you can plug this in and half of your script is already created. You just got to play with all the nodes and just set it up and it'll be ready to go. So now for our next step, that we created all of our tool sets, we're going to create hotkeys for those. 
So I have an example right here of uh, what we're going to create. Basically, we're going to create a file within our new folder. It's going to be called menu.py. And we need to uh, basically create this, this code right here and put it into that folder. The first thing we have is the add command. Uh, we're going to put that in there. Uh, it's just the tool set name. Uh, for the second part, it's called nuke.load.toolset, and then we put the location of uh, the nuke script into that, that section. We're then going to have our actual hotkeys. For, so for my first one, I'm going to have control plus M, and you can put anything like shift plus R, uh, like anything. I'm just spitting out random hotkeys, but you can create anything you want. So let's navigate to our new folder. So it's in C, users, uh, my name which is Greg, and then dot nuke. And if we look, we don't have a menu fi uh, file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text document. I'm going to name it menu, but then put a one. And I'm doing this just because uh, uh, we're, we're going to save it as a different file. So I'm going to click Save As, delete the one, and then put .py, and then I'm going to change this to All Files. That way it doesn't save it as a text file, it will save it as a .py file. So now you can see that this, this menu file has a different icon and basically it just means that it's now a Python file. So now I'm going to open this and we have our menu. I'm going to copy paste this code into this file. So now I'm ready to put in my tool sets and set up my hotkey. So let's navigate to our tool sets folder. Uh, and you can see we have all of our tool sets that we created earlier. It's all in this one folder. So for my first one, I'm going to put mass setup. I'm going to copy the location. And I'm going to paste it right in here. And then I'm going to create a slash. And then put the name, mask setup. And don't forget to put the .nk. That's because it's a nuke script. You then put your hotkey in there, so it's control plus N for me, like mask. Now I'm going to copy and paste the same thing over again. And that way we can uh, just create our next one. So I'm going to do the regrain setup. Type in regrain setup. I have my location, so I'm just going to change the name of it, regrainsetup.nk. And I'm going to change this to control plus R. I'm going to copy, paste this again. I'm not going to do all my tool sets. I'm just going to do three for now just to, to show you the example. So I'm going to do the tracking setup. And change this tracking setup. And I'll do control plus T. So now that I we're finished, I'll go ahead and save this. And I will jump back into Nuke. And if we go over here, I'll hit my command, and there's my mask setup. Uh, let's try Control R. There's my regrain setup. And let's try Control T. And there's my tracking setup. Now, if you could jump back into Nuke and you try your hotkeys and it doesn't work, all that really means is you just need to restart your Nuke and then reopen it and then uh, basically just try your hotkey again and it should work. Some common mistakes are uh, like labeling your menu file uh, with a capital M instead of a lowercase m. That could cause some mistakes, or just some sort of simple mistake in your code could cause a problem.
but that's it. That's my tutorial on tool sets and hotkeys. I hope it was very informative. Uh, please like and subscribe, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for listening.